professor modern institute of pharmaceutical science indore again welcome you to the online series of our practicals and today we are performing our third object that is the separation of sugars by paper chromatography what is paper chromatography before that we must know the definition of chromatography the so chromatography is a technique used for the identification or separation of a mixture of component based on their affinity towards stationary phase or mobile phase in case of paper chromatography your stationary phase is your paper and a mobile phase which is used as a solvent now the principle behind this separation of sugars by paper chromatography is that different sugars have different affinity towards stationary phase or mobile phase and different sugars have different rf values if you have given a mixture of sugars you have to separate it out and find out which type of sugars are there you can perform this by performing your paper chromatography you have to identify the rf values of the different sugar your spots obtain and compare this and with the standards so you can easily identify this sugars by knowing their rf value in a standard condition of temperature pressure and humidity now let's talk about the basic requirements to perform this practicals so let's discuss about first the, what are the chemicals required for that for that uh, solvent system we have to use chemicals three mixture of three chemicals and a ratio 4 ratio 1 ratio 5 and your first is and we can on the acetic acid and water a combination of these in a ratio 4 ratio 1 ratio 5 have to prepare which can be used as a solvent system for performing this practical now if we talk about other chemical requirements and glass wood requirement so you have to require sodium bicarbonate potassium permanganate uh, the mixture of this solution can is used as a detecting agent after the Uh, separation of components by paper chromatography glass wood requirement includes mixing cylinder your spray bottle a beaker a glass rod a petri dish and your paper whatman paper is used as a stationary phase in paper chromatography so why whatman paper is used why no ordinary paper is used because whatman filter paper is good in quality and the movement of the solvent is uniform throughout the paper that's why we use whatman filter paper for performing paper chromatography now perform the practical your first step is to prepare a solution or solvent system of the given solvent system that is and between all acetic acid and water in a ratio 4 1 and 5 i have already prepared and saturated the chamber using Uh, between all acetic acid and water in a ratio four ratio one ratio five. Now after the preparation of the the solvent system, you have to saturate your TLC chamber so that after if you put your paper inside your TLC chamber, the movement of solvent will be uniform. Okay, so this is how I have covered this beaker or you can say TLC chamber with the filter paper so that it can be saturated. Now next step is that you have to cut a Whatman filter paper of a rectangular size. Place a mark in yeah, a straight line over one centimeter from the bottom and mark three spots at the bottom where you are going to put your sample. Your samples include three samples: one standard, second standard, and a third a test sample, which is a mixture of both. So your first sample is your glucose. Second is lactose. And third is a combination of both glucose and lactose. That is your test sample. So you have to identify or compare the RF values of samples with the standard values. Now the next procedure is take your filter paper, what my filter paper, and with the help of capillary mark a spot on your filter paper. A small amount of spots have to be put on the paper. You have not to put a large, big amount of spots. It is sufficient to put a small drop of your sample. Similarly, you have to put the second. Third is a combination of your both sugar and lactose. So you have to put your sample and allow it to air dry. Once it is air dry, after air dry, you have to put your paper inside your TLC chamber for solvent rise. Now, after air drying your filter paper, 
hang it on your heel chin chamber. Precaution is that you have to dip only the bottom of your paper. You have to take precautions that your sample will not go inside your solvent system. Once you put your paper, allow it to run up to 80% of its surface area and then after that dry it and we are preparing a reagent containing potassium permanganate and sodium carbonate and we will spray that reagent after drying our paper and you will find yellow spots in a purple background. So you have to calculate the RF value by marking your solvent front, distance held by solvent and distance held by solutes. Now solvent is rising with the capillary reactions against the gravity as you are seeing in the video. In the meanwhile, we have prepared our spraying reagent that contains potassium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate which is sprayed over the TLC uh, your paper after its complete running, after its drying. It will give a yellow colored spots uh, where the sugar are identified. Now since our paper has reached approximate about 80% of its area, so now we have removed the paper and mark the solvent front by a pencil. Allow to dry the paper till it completely dries. After the complete drying of the paper, we are going to spray a reagent. Now you have to spray your reagent over the paper till it completely covers the whole paper. Now if you are able to see at the papers, you will find yellow spots over the paper. This is your solvent front. You have to calculate the distance trial by solvent by calculating this distance and distance trial by solute by calculating this spots distance from the front line. Lastly you have to calculate the RF value by using the formula distance trial by solute upon distance trial by solvent. So dear students, I hope you understand the basics behind this practical. What is chromatography? What is paper chromatography? Here paper is used at a stationary phase and a mobile phase is a mixture of solvents and the, your components, your solutes are separated based on their affinity towards stationary phase or mobile phase and they have, they have calculated RF values of different sugars and compared the same with the standard samples. This is how we can identify or separate sugar molecules by using paper chromatography. Thank you for watching this lecture.